Today we are going to review the step-by-step -step process for installing a Collins Aerospace Goodrich Fastboot Deicer. Goodrich invented and engineered the Fastboot Deicer over 20 years ago, and their performance is proven on hundreds of unique aircraft platforms. Fastboot Deicers provide the same quality and standard glue-on deicers, with the added benefit of factory-applied Goodrich adhesive. The pre-applied adhesive allows for faster installation and is a more environmentally friendly process by requiring less solvent than a standard boot installation. Please remember that this video is for reference only. During installation, proper documentation should be followed, including your aircraft maintenance manual and Goodrich Installation Manual 30-10-70, which is included in each Fastboot de-icer box. It is important that proper PPE practices are followed throughout the process, including wearing safety glasses and chemical-resistant gloves as required. As with any job, proper tools are necessary in order to complete a successful installation. It is important that the approved rubber roller and steel stitcher called out in Goodrich Installation Manual 30-10-70 are used. Substituting unapproved tools could result in poor bonding of the de-icer. Other tools needed to complete installation may include Rubber Roller, part number 74-451-74 Steel Stitcher, part number 74-451-89 Hook Knife or Utility Knife Deicer Removal Tool Plastic Scraper Lint-Free Cloths Masking Tape Measuring Tape Permanent Marker Carpenter's Chalk Line Straight Edge level or plumb bob, primer brush, edge sealer brush, and clean chemical containers. You will also need Toluene, Pierco 321, and Goodrich Fast Boot Primer, part number 74451207. Your new de-icer box is sealed with paper tape to allow for ease of opening without using a knife or sharp object, which risks damaging the de-icer. Before opening the protective plastic bag, verify accuracy of de-icer part number in the appropriate aircraft parts catalog. Set aside packaging cardboard cylinder for later use during edge sealer application. Inspect the breeze side of the de-icer carefully for surface damage. Examine the back side of the de-icer to ensure release paper is intact and not damaged. Pay particular attention to the air connection area. Before beginning to remove the previously installed de-icer, dry fit the new de-icer to ensure coverage and air connection appear correct. Begin removal by debonding trailing edges with a non-metallic scraper to prevent non-inflatable areas from remaining on leading edge during the removal process. Once trailing edges are debonded, score the de-icer at the center line, taking care not to damage the leading edge. Scoring through the top layer of the fabric carcass is adequate. Continue to score the remainder of the de-icer into four to six inch strips. Starting at one end of the boot, use solvent to debond the strips. Once enough is lifted, you can roll the strip around a 3 quarter inch diameter cylinder and roll at a 90 degree angle to pull the strip up and off leading edge. This will ease the removal process and assist to leave minimal residue on leading edge. Once the de-icer removal is completed, remaining adhesive will need cleaned off the leading edge. For removal of a standard boot, it is recommended to use Pierco 321 which is an environmentally friendly product developed to remove 1300L. Apply a thick layer of Pierco 321 to the remaining adhesive. After it has set for at least 10 minutes, but prior to drying, use a plastic scraper to remove softened adhesive. Lay a toluene-soaked rag over particularly difficult areas for several minutes before using a plastic scraper to remove. To ensure adequate adhesion of new installation, it is essential that all powder residue from Pierco 321 is removed by wiping with toluene and lint-free cloth prior to proceeding with the de-icer installation. Inspect and repair leading edge surface in accordance with the aircraft maintenance manual. 
Ensure any paint in the installation area is removed with stripper or solvent appropriate for the leading edge. Fast boot de-icers can be installed on alodyned or anodized surfaces and over zinc chromate primer that cannot be removed by scrubbing with toluene or equivalent solvent. Sand epoxy surfaces lightly to remove gloss. Use clean, dry, pressurized air or a dry cloth to remove sanding particles before proceeding with de-icer installation. If you are installing the de-icer on an aircraft with wet wing fuel tanks, fuel barrier cement should be applied over rivets, fasteners, and splits, unless otherwise directed by the aircraft maintenance manual. Fuel barrier cement protects the integrity of the bonded surfaces by mitigating fuel vapor seepage. Now that the leading edge prep process is complete, you are ready to begin your de-icer installation. Begin by masking off installation area with masking tape. Next, mark the center line. Though a center line may be present after removal of the old de-icer, it is recommended to remark the center line by measuring the distance on the new de-icer from the center of the air connection to the marked center line. Using a permanent marker, transfer this measurement from the de-icer to the aircraft leading edge using the center of the air connection cutout as a reference point. A level or plumb bob can be used to find the center on the outboard end of the leading edge. Using a carpenter's chalk line, snap the center line onto the leading edge. Then, use a straight edge to trace the chalk line with a marker. Use a clean, dry cloth to wipe residual chalk off of the entire leading edge. Wipe in a single direction and flip cloth frequently to avoid spreading chalk contaminants. Before applying primer, dry fit your de-icer again to verify the marked center line is correct and allows for proper air connection alignment. Using a clean brush, apply primer to the leading edge. Aluminum leading edges require two coats of primer while composite leading edges require three coats of primer. Take care to get full area coverage. Allow five minutes of dry time between coats and 10 minutes of dry time after the final coat and before beginning the installation. Please note, to avoid risk of contamination, fast boot installation must begin within two hours of applying the final coat of primer. If installation has not been started within two hours, but it has been less than three hours, you can apply an additional coat of primer and allow to dry before beginning the install. Otherwise, the masked area should be cleaned with toluene and primer application started from the beginning. Before beginning installation, lay the de-icer flat with bond side up and inspect continuous slits in the fast boot paper. Bend the de-icer slightly at each slit so the paper separates and PSA is visible. Roll the de-icer up with the release paper facing outward. This will allow for easier centerline alignment. Pull the de-icer air connection line through the hole in the leading edge and apply vacuum to suitable connection point. Peel back three quarters of an inch of centerline release paper at the air connection and with assistance, Align the de-icer centerline with leading edge centerline while ensuring de-icer air connection is centered in the aircraft connection cutout. With a second set of hands pulling back the centerline release paper, slowly unroll de-icer onto aircraft centerline and press de-icer firmly with the rubber roller. Using the rubber roller is a very important step to ensure activation of the pressure sensitive adhesive and get a proper bond. Have your assistant peel next release paper strip, taking care that exposed PSA does not prematurely touch the primed leading edge. Roll firmly outward toward the trailing edge at an angle to avoid trapping air. Continue process one strip at a time until the entire de-icer is bonded. Once the de-icer is completely bonded, Use a steel stitcher to properly bond all de-icer edges as well as around air connection. 
Use a knife to trim de-icer cutout areas, recessed edges, or edges that butt against adjacent de-icers as required. Ensure that you do not trim de-icer edge closer than one inch from inflatable area, as this could result in air leakage or seam failure. It is required to apply filler to fair full thickness de-icer edges in areas such as adjacent aircraft structure, recessed edges, between de-icers, and anywhere the de-icer was trimmed. If desired, to provide additional bond line protection, filler can be applied around all edges of the de-icer. Once appropriate filler cure times has been followed, apply conductive edge sealer as directed in the AMM or Collins Aerospace Goodrich Installation Manual 30-10-31. Conductive edge sealer prevents pinhole damage caused by static discharge, so it is important that it is properly applied and maintained. Goodrich installation manuals require different types of conductive edge sealers, depending on the surface ply of the de-icer. The de-icer material name can be found on the laser brand, which is typically located on the lower inboard edge of the de-icer. Using tape to mask off the application area, apply at least one quarter inch in from the edge of the de-icer surface and three quarters inch out from the de-icer edge on leading edge. Using a clean half-inch brush, apply an even coat of conductive edge sealer. To maintain a clean edge, an assistant should immediately remove tape once edge sealer coat is applied. To ease tape removal, attach the ends of the masking tape strips to the cardboard cylinder that you set aside when opening the new de-icer. The aircraft can be flown immediately, and de-icers inflated two hours after installation. Be sure to complete a post-installation functional check of de-icing system per the aircraft maintenance manual. Collins Aerospace Goodrich Fastboot de-icers take the guesswork out of de-icer installation. The pre-applied pressure-sensitive adhesive provides a smooth and consistent de-icer bond at a fraction of the time needed for the application of standard de-icers. If you have any questions throughout this process, Please do not hesitate to contact Collins Aerospace Product Support.